I am here to tell you a story and I'm also here to do a double read. Sometimes people have two front doors and they want one going one way and one going the other. So they kind of, they mirror. And it's a little bit difficult to do, but I think I've got this figured out. I'm using a ruler and my little mat and I'm making sure everything meets exactly because my customer wants it to be absolutely exact. I think I can do this. I used to teach math, so I bet I can do this. Anyway, but my story today is, is about a chicken. So I told y'all last time, this time I was gonna tell a story about my chicken. So let me tell you, when I was a little girl, my dad, I was about eight years old, and my dad ordered me 50 baby chicks. Now, I was pretty privileged in that I had a chicken house. My dad built me a chicken house. We had a farm and he laid concrete. I mean, it was a house. It had four walls, it had a roof, it had a window on each side, it had a full size door that you went in, it had a light switch. And he built little cubbies for the chickens to climb up in and lay their eggs. And the chickens would, when they got bigger, they'd walk up the little ladder and they'd go in the little, their little cubby, little covered cubby with straw, and they would lay the eggs. And then when they would go to bed at night, he had like, um, what looked like bleachers, like you were at a football game, only they were like chicken bleachers. And there were boards that went across and they kind of leaned up against the far wall and if you went in there at night, the chickens were all, it's like they were asleep at a football game because they were all up on the bleachers. So that was later. But when they were little, they were so cute. They were little and they were yellow and I would and downy and fluffy and I would go down there to the chicken house and I would sit on the floor cross-legged and they would climb all over me. Well, they loved me and they would come running. It was like this wave of yellow that would come running when I would come in. They thought, um, I think they thought I was with their mom, so. Um, but when they got bigger, I couldn't, I couldn't really tell for a little while, uh, when they were little, who was going to be a hen and who was going to be a rooster. Okay. But when they got bigger, it became very obvious because, you know, the roosters would get this crown and they'd get this waddle thing, you know, going on. So out of those 50 chickens, I'm not exactly sure how many made it because we had dogs and sometimes the chickens would get out. And that's a whole nother story because my sister and I would have to clip their wings and that was, that was tough, you know, pull out their wings and take scissors so they wouldn't fly over. Um, some of them got gotten got by dogs and some of them fell in the creek and drowned because chickens can't swim. Anyway, but a lot of them made it. And out of the ones that made it, the hens were still pretty sweet. But there were a couple of those chickens that turned into roosters and those roosters were not sweet at all. They were mean and they were very territorial. So it got to the point where when I came and I would come to the gate to go into the chicken yard, instead of them running toward me, they were very indifferent. They didn't really care, except for the roosters. Now there was this one rooster and he was especially mean. He would puff up real big, his feathers would get really big. And I, you know, I'm just this little kid, so I'm walking in with my little ice cream pail bucket to go get the eggs, because that was my chore every day to go down and get the eggs. So here I come, la di da, doo doo doo, walking in, and that rooster would run at me, and he would fly up at my head with these talons, cl just clamoring all around my head with those, there were spurs. Oh my heavens, I would come running out of there, scared to death, ah, just completely just freaked out, just freaked out. Dropped my bucket and I would run. Well, my dad was gone a lot. He was, um, he had a trucking business and so he was gone for days at a time delivering trucks. And he was a big guy, big cowboy guy. Um, my dad looked a lot like John Wayne. He wore a cowboy hat, cowboy boots, and he had a big old voice. And, um, and he, he, he carried himself very, very big and very authoritative. I quit going to get the eggs for a while and taking care of my chickens because I was so afraid of getting attacked by a rooster. So for a few days, I just didn't, I just didn't go. I just didn't go. And my dad came back from a trip delivering trucks. And of course he said, how's that chicken house doing? How are your chickens doing? And I said, fine. Well, he could see right through that. He 
looked at me and he said, you hadn't been going to get the eggs, had you? What's your problem? And I just started bawling, crying. And I said, I'm afraid of the rooster. There's a rooster down there and he's really mean. And he comes at me with his claws and he goes about my head and, and I'm scared to death. And he, he said, come on, which meant come on. So I went with him. And so as we're walking, you know, I'm like 20 steps to every one of my dads, you know, he's going, boom, boom, walking down to the chicken house. And he gets down there, he's going past the wood pile and he picks up a two by four. Now, I don't know if you know what a two by four is, but a two by four is a piece of wood. That is, is it two inches by four feet? I don't know, but it's big. It's like a yardstick big. You know, it's like this, but it was a two by four. Okay, he picks this up. He goes to the gate, he opens the gate, and when he does, here comes that rooster. That rooster's thinking he's gonna attack my dad. I'm here to tell you, he had that two by four, like this yardstick, and that rooster comes flying up at his head, and my dad took that two by four, and he went wham! Rooster went flying. He knocked fire out of that rooster. I mean, he just went flying and he was just all whoa. And my dad turned right around and he handed me that two by four and he said, you gotta show him who's boss. You come in, all you have to do is pick up that two by four and he's not gonna bother you anymore. You know what? He was right. My dad showed him who's boss and I guess the rooster thought I was boss because I had my two by four. So every day then I would go in with my two by four and my little ice cream pail and I would go into my chicken house and I could get my eggs because the rooster was scared to death of me because I had a board. So I never had to do that. I never had to hit him, but um, my daddy did and he took care of it. So the thing I learned about it is, and this is what I used to tell my students, you gotta show them who's boss. You, whatever you're doing. I'm making wreaths like a boss. I'm gonna show these wreaths. I mean, I'm making a double wreath here. Mirror, I'm gonna make this thing work for me, okay? Because I believe that the enemy is after you and the enemy wants your destruction. He wants what's uh, bad for you. He doesn't want you to succeed. He doesn't want you to be confident. He doesn't want you to have love and joy and peace and patience and forbearance and all that stuff. He doesn't want you to have any of that. He wants you to be depressed and he wants you to be down in a pit and he wants to keep you there. But here's the thing. I believe that Christ within me gives me the power to be confident, to know who I am in Christ and to be able to just step out, to step out in confidence and to step out in Christ to try things and to do things and to be things and to be uh, self-assured because I'm loved, because you can do it. And I mean, you may not think it's Jesus, but I'm here to tell you it is, okay? It is Jesus, but you, you can be whatever you wanna be. You can think whatever you wanna think, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that it's, that it's the Lord, so anyway. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for listening. That's so cool that you came to the big tree. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys. Okay, I finished the devil wreath. Um, it took a long time because I wanted it to be perfect. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show it to you. And um, if you ever make one of these, you just make sure you're doing whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. You just, you know, if you cut stuff, make sure you're cutting it the same length. Anyway, I think it looks pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, so thanks. Okay, here's the left one. And here's the right one. I'm gonna pull back and see if I can get them both. What do y'all think? Pretty good? I think it's pretty good. All right, that's it.